Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the solutions of second and higher order differential equations with constant coefficient. And we will deal with the particular integrals in this video, right? So in the last video, I talked about the homogeneous solution. So in this lecture, in this video, I'll tell you about how to calculate the particular integral. So what is the meaning of the particular integral? So whenever you are linear differential equation with constant coefficients deal with a non-homogeneous differential equation we try to calculate the particular integral so the particular integral corresponds to the right hand side of your differential equation so what are we going to do we will convert this equation the differential equation into symbolic form so in the symbolic form we will replace d by dx with capital d similarly the second derivative d2 by dx squared with d squared and then dn by dx and with d capital N. So in that case, the first term gets reduced to dn. Then the second term, p1 is a constant. So we have p1 dn minus 1 plus p2 dn minus 2 plus so on up till pn. And you can see that y gets common in all the terms. So we get y is equal to q. So from here, what is your y? This is a function in b. So I can write it as fd into y is equal to q. So we can say that y is equal to 1 by fd times q. So this becomes your formula to calculate the particular integral. And depending upon the right hand side function, we have different rules to calculate the particular integral. Right? So let us focus on the first method that what is your inverse operator? Now suppose if I have fd function as simply d there is only one term that is d so y becomes 1 by fd times q so 1 by d of fq is nothing but integration q dx so this is your meaning of inverse operator right so like we say that d by dx is d so if I have 1 by d, so when this operator is applied on a function, then we will take the derivative of this function. So similarly, what is 1 by d of q? It is basically integration q, right? So you should remember what is the inverse operator. And then let us move on to the first case. The first case says, when on the right hand side, we have an exponential term e raised to power ax. So what is the rule? The rule says simply replace d by a. So compare the coefficient of e raised to power ax with the term that is given to us in the question and compare it and find out the value of a. And then in the answer in the particular integral, you just need to replace b with a. So you'll get the answer as 1 by fa e raised to power ex till f of a is not becoming 0, right? So if f of a becomes equal to 0, then what happens? The case will fail automatically because it is 1 by 0 form. So if the case fails, what we are going to do? We will multiply the numerator with x and we will divide the denominator. We will take the derivative of the denominator. So we'll get f dash a. And again, we will replace b with a. So if f dash a is not becoming equal to 0, then this is the answer. If it becomes equal to 0, then again we have to deal with the case failure. So we'll again multiply with another x, we'll get x square. And denominator will take the derivative and another derivative. So we will get f double dash a. Right? So let us try to apply this rule in the questions and understand this method. So we have to solve the differential equation d2y by dx square minus 3 dy by dx plus 2y is equal to e raised to power 3a. Now you can see that this is a homogeneous solution. So your, uh, this is a non-homogeneous equation. So your general solution comprises of the complementary solution and the particular integral. Right. Now for the complementary solution, what we are going to do, like we did in the last video, we will try to convert this equation into an auxiliary form and then depending upon the roots of the equation, we will write the complementary solution. So according to the auxiliary equation, this will become d square minus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to e raised to power 
states, right? So from here, the auxiliary equation is d squared minus 3d plus 2 is equal to 0. So from here, when you convert this into an algebraic form, the algebraic equation becomes, we'll put d equal to m. So we will get m squared minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. So when you find out the roots of this equation, you'll get the roots as m minus 2 into m minus 1 is equal to 0. So we get two distinct roots, that is 2 and 1. So what is the complementary solution? The complementary solution is C1 e raised to power 2x plus C2 e raised to power x. Now let us calculate the particular integral. Now what is our particular integral? It is the function on in d that is d square minus 3d plus 2 1 by f. If you remember our particular integral was 1 by f d times the right hand side function right so 1 by fd here is d square minus 3d plus 2 and the right hand side function is e raised to power 3x so according to the rule we have to replace d by coefficient of e raised to power ax so what is a a is 3 so replace d by 3 so what will i get i'll get 3 square minus 3 into 3 plus 2 into e raised to power 3x. So this is 9 minus 9 it will become 0 and we'll get 2 left. So it is 1 by 2 e raised to power. Okay. Right. So now this is the complementary solution and this is your particular integral. So what is your final answer? The general solution is yc plus yp. So complementary solution is c1 e raised to power 2x plus c2 e raised to power x plus 1 by 2 e raised to power. So this becomes our final solution. Right? So I hope the rule is clear to you. So let's try work out another example and I'll give you some progress questions here. So you can try these questions, right? So, and do comment me in the comment box whether you were able to solve these questions, right? So thank you so much for listening to the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. So believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.